by my green hair, there are reasons behind its greenish tint and color. Simply because of the new movie Suicide Squad, which we are less than a month away. It comes out August 5th. I'll be seeing it August 4th. Excited! Anyway, making this video in regards to some news that uh, surfaced about the movie that has me a little on edge revol re uh, revolving around my favorite character in the movie and probably the one good reason why I'm going to see it is obviously because of the Joker, played by Jared Leto. Now the news that came out about the character, why I'm on edge, uh, they did an interview with, uh, I believe... The director, David Ayers, or maybe Jared Leto himself, about the Joker's involvement within the Suicide Squad itself. And it's basically, he is trying to get Harley back. Harley Quinn, right there. Played by Margot Robbie. Because she is his one true love. Now, if you understand why that aggravates me, then you are a Batman fan and Joker fan. Joker doesn't love anybody but himself. He is such a sadistic person that he cannot love another human being. The only reason why Harley Quinn is ever around is because he uses her for her knowledge and her skills. And then it's always vice versa that she is in love with him. It's never really the other way around. So what I hope they do and I'm praying to the DC gods that what they do, I'm praying to you, Superman, DC God, is that the reason why Joker's getting Harley back is because he needs her for something and not because uh, he's in love with her. I just think it's a ridiculous concept that that's the case and will put such a sour taste in my mouth until Aquaman. That's the next DC movie I believe we're going to get. You know, I was biased about Batman vs. Superman because I am a huge Batman fan and Ben Affleck just crushed it as the Dark Knight. But if they do it, just do two bad movies in a row, I'm not saying Batman vs. Superman was bad. It just did not live up to its hype. So we are left with the Suicide Squad with its hype. If they do this twice in a row, DC's going to be in trouble. But I still have high hopes that Suicide Squad pulls their stuff together and makes an incredibly badass movie, which is what everyone is expecting. Um, well, so, tell me what you guys think below in the comments. If you like what you see, please subscribe below. And until next time, okay, bye.